Hey everyone, I'm in Van Gogh's garden. <laughs> What's up? I'm the mediocre astrologer. Man, he's okay. How you guys doing? All right, in this video, I want to look at the conjunction of, or rather, aspects between Moon and Jupiter. It's mostly conjunctions. I have a big list. It's about 28 long. Uh, but I do some trines and some squares and some oppositions as well, but mostly conjunctions. But um, yeah, so what's Moon Jupiter? And before I forget, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Book a reading with me, macrogoldmachine at yahoo.com. And uh, yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. All right, so what's Moon and Jupiter? Well, uh, Moon is a, uh, the very, it's it's the most personal planet, right? Because the most personal point is the Ascendant and the Angles, both the MC and the I, uh, Ascendant, right? But the most personal planet is the Moon. It moves the fastest. It's the closest to Earth. It represents our mind, our heart, our emotions, our mother, right? Um, it's a very um, uh, sensitive point. Uh, it also represents the body and it represents our needs, what we really what we really need in life to satisfy us in our heart, right? Um, it also represents a, a, a caringness, right? A nurturing quality, depending on where it's placed in the chart. And what's Jupiter? Uh, Jupiter expands things. It's the great benefic. It's the teacher, the guru, the the wise person. Um, it it's very abundant, right? And so when you bring Jupiter and the moon together, Jupiter greatly expands the influence or the um, um, associations of the heart, right? Uh, so we see this a lot with artists, right? Because now the heart is becoming so big and expanded. So like artists, especially musicians, but uh, any type of art is really going to express their heart uh, in a big way, in a big, bold uh, Jupiterian way, where it's just ex uh, expanded, benefic, depending on the sign. It's not always benefic, right? Um, we'll, we'll look at that. But generally speaking, making it big, bold, warm, bright, um, positive, and just like you can really feel it. And that's the thing that people love with Moon-Jupiter combinations is you get to feel their heart so much because Jupiter is expanding it, right? Um Moon also influences Jupiter in a good way because Moon is is um, Jupiter's um, exaltation lord, right? Jupiter is exalted in Cancer. Moon rules Cancer, so it's bringing some of that quality where Jupiter really thrives, right? Um, and yeah, so it's a great combination usually, and um, tons of really you know powerful artists and 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 just people who who we really enjoy. Uh, have this combination because we can really get to feel their 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 heart. We get to feel it, and it's like, oh, we like that, right? When we get to feel their heart, we get we like that because it means something. It's like not like a cardboard box or like you know just like a you know prefab cookie cutter person. They were just like their emotions are are just right up front, right out in the open, depending on where it is in the chart and how it's expressed. But um, let's look at some examples to to give you guys a better idea. All right, so first we have Drake. Um, yeah, the hip hop rap artist. And we got Moon. This is not a conjunction, obviously. Where is Jupiter? He doesn't have a Jupiter. No, I'm just kidding. Jupiter. Duh. Uh, this is a really good one because it is applying, right? Moon is about to um, go exact at some point after he was born, right? Uh, which means that it's always going to be a powerful aspect. <clears throat> Separating aspects will manifest mostly when the person's young. Um, applying aspects when they're a little bit older and throughout their life, right? So here we have Moon, Moon in Cancer and Jupiter in Pisces, both in domicile, trying each other, 7th, 11th. This is a great combination, right? Jupiter in the 7th in Pisces. It's going to be very generous, very... Um, liberal with their with their giving um it's trine moon in the the 11th which makes them very popular right 11th house is friends so it's like sort of like especially for a, a celebrity or famous person it's popularity oh by the way guys i am using um egyptian terms or bounds as they're known 
Um, I just started using it, but I like it, right? Um, <clears throat> and we can get we can get a <clears throat> we can go a little bit deeper with the with the with the um, terms or bounds, right? Jupiter is in in its own domicile and its own bounds, so this is a super uh, strong Jupiter, right? We can we can look. So it's obviously okay. The way the cusps are set up here, I mean, it's ruling most of the seventh house. So for all practical, yeah. Um, um, terms it's it's seventh house right it's it's not i wouldn't i wouldn't call this eighth eighth house because even if it's eighth whole sign house like 2951 i'd call this seventh seventh that's why i look at both together to see which one feels more right um this feels very seventh house to me right because it's it's so the the ic is so <clears throat> i think you get an air, inaccurate interpretation if you said mars is in the seventh jupiter is in the eighth Right. There probably is some way you can, you know, line that up and make it work. But for all um, intents and purposes, uh, Jupiter is, is in the seventh in its own bounds, in its own domicile. So if we say Jupiter is ruling the seventh. And. Um, again, technically, I mean, this is the fifth, right? Fifth whole sign, fifth quadrant. So let's just call it the fifth. Right. So fifth, which is very, you know, for artists, creative performance, that's great. And then moon, um, again, that's difficult. It's in the 11th quadrant, but it's ruling the 12th. So either way, it's popularity, but also very creative. Anyway, this is a huge um, 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 boost to his uh, success, this trine. Uh, moon is in Cancer, but it's also in Venus's bound. So more creative. Uh, you know, um, artistic oriented moon. All right, let's keep going. Kesha. And we're going to see some of these who are more successful and some who are less successful combinations, right? And we'll see why for some reason, for, for, for various reasons. All right, so she's got <clears throat> moon, Jupiter, and Pisces, where Jupiter is exalted. Moon is very creative here. Um, in the fourth, um, yeah, fourth, fourth quadrant, fourth whole sign house, but at the very anoretic degree, right? So Jupiter's about to lose dignity, um, you know, out of domicile. And it's in the bounds of Saturn and Mars. Moon's in Mars, Jupiter's in Saturn. So these, it's not as successful. I mean, if you're just looking at the sign, you're thinking, okay, wow, amazing, right? Um, fourth house, yeah, for, for like, you know, home is where the heart is. It's a lot of feeling. There's a lot of like, you know, uh, so like attachment to roots or popularity at home, representing a certain kind of, um, you know, Van Nuys, California. So she's like, you know, maybe in, in Van Nuys, California or that area, she's like, you know, a god or something like that or goddess because she can represent them being, you know, having this full fourth house um, quality, bring representing that the locality, representing home, right? Um, and bring a lot of, of, like heart and um, feeling expandedness to to um, that representation, um, but again, it's not it's this is not as as um, good as we'll see as some other ones. But then again, you know, um, it is dignifying the sun and Mercury as well, right? Uh, moon's the eighth lord, uh, Jupiter's the ascendant lord, <clears throat> so we can see like okay, Jupiter is the ascendant lord, Moon's the eighth lord. So, um, and with Jupiter about to lose dignity in Aries, you know, out of domicile, um, it shows like that at some point she might fall from grace, which it seems like she has. She had pretty much like what one one hit single, and then kind of dropped out. At least as far as I know, I don't really follow her. But Jupiter's ruling the fourth and the first, and Venus uh, Moon's ruling the eighth. Um, eighth Lord is probably not th that great to have there, but um, probably has a lot of sexuality to to her um, being to her identity. All right, Steve Carell, as well as other things, crisis and whatnot. All right, so this is perfect for um, the beloved boss of the office, right? Uh, first of all, South Node Saturn in, in um, Aquarius for the comedies of Funny Boss, South Node Saturn, right? Fifth house. Uh, but TV show, Moon, Jupiter, Chiron, right? In Venus's bounds. 
uh that's really good and jupiter's in domicile um the, yeah tv shows are six house right um you know office as well like work you know that's also very much so it's like a six house um um topic with a six house um theme right you know a office and a tv show together that's both six house and we get the moon jupiter here um jupiter is uh, so this is the seventh whole sign house but six quadrant um jupiter also ruling the fourth um yeah again so i mean from early childhood whatever you know like youth or something like that not whatever um moon ruling the 11th so a very popular career career success popularity and all that right okay and then venus is in domicile it's in mercury's bounds but it's in domicile in libra because it's in venus's bounds so that's good and it's going back to him so yeah very successful but with chiron definitely makes him more unique more strange more weird more unusual the very unusual funny guy boss right of course he's done other things movies and whatnot but tv shows six house so we're just looking at that for now Kurt Cobain. So Kurt Cobain has the inf the famous um, Moon Jupiter and Cancer conjunction, which, in my opinion, is probably the best one. Um, moon Jupiter and Cancer. Moon's in domicile. Jupiter is exalted. Jupiter's in its own bounds. Moon's in Mercury's bounds. Um, very very successful, right? Uh, it's a little wide, but it's still super um, potent, and it's in the eleventh house of 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 popularity right friends um tons of friends he had tons of friends you could say that right like niche 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 popularity niche success and it's also part of this grand water trine right too much water a lot of people say yeah for sure um but um you know incredibly potent powerful people love kurt cobain this is a very whenever you see moon jupiter combinations together um people are going to love that right? They're going to love that depending on where it's in and other combinations as well. But this is one of the best ones. Uh, Jupiter's ruling the seventh again. So like, yeah, really all about like the people, you know, personal relationships, group relationships. People love him. Um, fourth house, youth, um, especially, you know, representing, you know, Seattle, Seattle grunge, rock and roll type stuff um yeah so incredibly successful there right um <clears throat> compare that to somebody else who has like you know mars saturn and pluto in the 11th in like you know cancer or leo or something like people are not going to love that <laughs> da vinci the the great i'm just going to say as an artist my opinion right you can have everyone has their own opinion probably the greatest draftsman of all time by draftsman i mean somebody who can draw somebody who draws right he was a painter but like his drawings were just like bar none like the best thing ever right um incidentally jupiter's bounds on jupiter's domicile so jupiter very strong planet that represents him it's in uh it's in domicile in pisces in venus's bounds and venus is exalted in pisces so this is pretty good bounds i'd say venus beauty right arts moon moons and jupiter's bounds and jupiter's sign so that's really successful right highly creative highly successful third house hands skills drawing right so yeah uh, so okay yeah i mean you can make a case mars is mars is in jupiter's bounds in the third whole sign house um that's fine but this is the third quadrant so personally for him it still ap applies right um but it could bring in, you know, elements of youth, right? Fourth house or parents. I don't know intimately his story. Um, Jupiter's ruling the first and um, the the fourth whole sign, right? Third quadrant, fourth whole sign. Um, moon is ruling the eighth, which is really interesting. Um, especially because I know he had like a fascination with a lot of these artists did, but um, like researching the body like literally taking corpses cutting them open studying the the everything right all the musculature and tendons and blood vessels 
and skeletons and because they wanted to understand like how the body was formed. So that's very much an eighth house topic, right? And then he's got, of course, Uranus and Pluto, in the eighth quadrant, right? Um, south node in the eighth whole sign house. So th these things are very familiar to him. Um, also like occultism and like, he was very curious about like all the, uh, he was a Renaissance man, right? And so a lot of these like secrets and deep diving stuff were coming up for him as themes. So Johnny Depp. Uh, a lot of people love Johnny Depp, but at the same time, uh, he does have some some issues, right? So Moon Moon Square Jupiter, right? I, I threw in a couple couple, couple curveballs because not every Moon Jupiter combination is a great one. Uh, so here we have Moon. It's actually in Jupiter's bounds, which is really good. It probably helps out a lot, but it's it's in Capricorn, so it's um it's it's in detriment. It's opposite domicile and Cancer in the sixth house. So it's not not a great moon, not a very happy moon. Competitive, right? Overly competitive, overly um, um, a little bit a little bit nasty. I mean, I don't want to be mean about it, but it's like the, this Capricorn moon in the sixth house is kind of aggressive, right? It's helped by Jupiter. It's square Jupiter. Moon's casting its light on Jupiter. It's the, in the superior square, um, pretty much exact. Jupiter, Jupiter's in Aries, where it's it's not, I mean, so I guess it has triplicity rulership. It's in Mercury's bounds. It's not really in great dignity. Uh, Jupiter's ruling the eighth. Uh, so it's eighth, eighth lord in the ninth. Um, yeah, they, these people can believe in a cult. These can be real occultists because their philosophy has to do with eighth house things which is like death and occultism and secrets and hidden things, sex, right? Um, um, and Jupiter is also ruling the fifth house. So entertainment, Jupiter, yeah. Um, entertainment, fun game, obviously, right? Um, so his philosophy is is very um, fun, fun and games. Um religion of of occultism sex romance fun something like that right squared by the moon moon ruling the 12th so very uh creative house so having to do with movies working in movies um yeah it 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 it's it's a connection, but Jupiter does not do well in in Capricorn neither does moon moon does not do well in in Saturn in Aries, or I mean, it's, it's both are neutral in Aries. I mean, it's not really gaining any. So it's not, it's not a great combination, right? And even though Johnny Depp is hailed as like, you know, this great actor and beautiful looking, there is something that at the same time is, is not, um, like if you see him in interviews, he's not always happy. He's not a happy camper. He's not always nice. He's kind of mean. Um, he's not always that likable even, right? kind of nasty um <clears throat> he has a bad boy image and a bad boy attitude um so yeah and the moon is also an aspect here it, it, to the degree so i mean that that's another interpretation that we could pull in but um probably uh, this seems like it's tied to his acting since um yeah moon moons moons in ruling the 12th house right of imagination and creativity with north dispositing north node uh it is pretty much conjunct the south node moon by seven degrees so in that that in some ways um is good because it creates a very sharp mind right um and good intuition I, maybe not in capricorn sixth house but some it, it's the, maybe sh very sharp mind sharp mind i'd say yeah um Otherwise, the, the moon square Jupiter, it's just like it's it's a cause of tension and disharmony and not nearly as enjoyable as the the conjunction or the trine. Especially in that that sort of sign. Bob Dylan. Um, Bob Dylan had the conjunction, but it was with Saturn and, and Uranus mixed in. Right. But it's still it's in the sixth um sixth house. Um 
In fact, the fifth quadrant, well, moon's in the fifth quadrant, in Taurus, so it's exalted, and Jupiter's bound, so this is a good moon, right? Even though it's, sat it's conjunct Saturn, so that kind of spoils it, and then Saturn's at the degree of the um, ascendant, even though it's aversion, I don't like that. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit nicer about how I um, disagree about things, um, but when a, when a planet is um, at the degree of the Senate, even in conjunct, it's connecting. There's a connection. It's not, oh, I can't see you. I can't hear you. I don't know you. Like that whole thing. Um, there's a definite connection. It's just that it's like this. Um, the trine is like the, well, obviously the conjunction is the easiest uh, aspect. The trine also wonderful and more polarity, right? Um, the sextile is great. And then we get like the squares a little more difficult the opposition also potentially difficult. And for each of the more difficult ones, you, you want smaller orbs. That's really what it comes down to for the, for the aspect. Um, you know, so like for a square or opposition, I'd use a smaller orb than I would for a sextile or a trine or a conjunction, right? Conjunction, you can use the widest orb, um, if it's in the same sign really. Right. Um, and then, you know, so square, less semi-sextile, tight orb, right? Square, generally a tighter orb. Opposition, generally a tighter orb. Um, but for the semi-sextile and in conjunct, really tight orbs. But if it's at the exact degree, yeah, you betcha. And if Saturn in Taurus is aspecting his ascendant from the sixth, um, what, how, does, how does Bob Dylan appear? Um, very plain very country-ish, ordinary, folky, like Saturn, like an old man, old country bumpkin, right? Saturn and Taurus, what else do you want, right? Moon's also there, so that's influencing it. But it's in the sixth house, it's in Taurus, it's in Jupiter's bounds, so it's a good moon, Uranus, then Jupiter. Jupiter <clears throat> is, at, is at the anoretic degree in Mars's bound. So the Jupiter's not, not as good, right? Um, it's about to move into Gemini, which actually, actually, it's not bad for writing Jupiter and Gemini. It's actually really good for writing. Um, so it's okay that it's at the anorectic degree about to, about to, um, change signs, but this is helpful. Um, this moon Jupiter combination is still really good in the six whole sign house, fifth quadrant, um, for writing, for entertainment, for, um, just being, you know, Bob Dylan, right? May, having people love him, even though he's not all that nice in person, right? Like if you watch him, if you watch interviews of Bob Dylan, he's kind of, he's very Saturnian. Like he's just like kind of cold and hard, right? How would he be so Saturnian if, if the Saturn wasn't, you know, directly influencing his ascendant? You wouldn't even see it. You wouldn't see it. You wouldn't notice it. Anyway. um, Yeah, so Venus... Uh, sorry, Moon is ruling the um, eighth eighth whole sign house and eighth quadrant, um, and Jupiter ruling the ascendant. That's Bob Dylan, Jupiter, and the third. So definitely writing, playing guitar, being all folky and earthy and Torian, um, country bumpkin. Um, So eighth house, eighth house is going to just make it that much more intense, right? With this moon here, it's in good dignity, but it's just going to be like much deeper and more authentic and more powerful than it would be otherwise. But yeah, good combination in Taurus because moon's exalted. All right. Tina Fey. Tina Fey, Philly comedian, Upper Darby. That's not that's pretty close to where I live. Right. And then she got Moon Jupiter in Libra in Venus's bounds. That's pretty good. Venus is signed, Venus is bound. I mean, it's not great because neither of these like they're neutral in in in, in Libra, right? Um yeah. But uh so third whole sign house, but fourth quadrant. So kind of like the neighborhood, like and if you watch SNL. She's one of the things she's famous for is representing Philly, right? Representing the Philly accent, the whole Philly vibe, right? Um, incidentally, also Venus actually trines 
um, this moon Jupiter conjunction and so dignifying it. So that's really good. Um, and let's see here. Do you want to know where her comedy comes from? It's by one degree, Uranus sextile, the ascendant. That's a really good one um, for comedy. Also, moon, uh, Venus, Mars, and Gemini. And, and the Libra, the trine of Libra, moon, Jupiter. Um, <clears throat> Jupiter also ruling the eighth. And um, so here, fifth house. All right, so entertainment. That makes a lot of sense. And then uh, moon ruling the 12th. Yeah, so very creative. This is a very creative combination. Um, it's applying Jupiter's retrograde. Uh, moon's obviously direct. Yeah, pretty good. Um, definitely makes like, you know, Philly crowd love her because she's representing us. So, yep. Lady Gaga. All right. She got the moon. Um, no, she got Jupiter. Jupiter trine moon. Uh, this is not as powerful, right? But I wanted to show and show different combinations because it's separating and moons in Scorpio. And you know, Jupiter has no positive effect on Scorpio, but it's still there. And it's going to be more prominent when she's young. Um, Jupiter is in, in Jupiter. So this is, you know, um, really um, boosting her, making her career successful, right? Jupiter in domicile, conjunct the MC um, in in the 10th whole sign house, right? It's it's very clear. Jupiter is in very good dignity. It's in Venus's um, uh, bounds. So Venus is exalted in, in Pisces. So it's really good bounds. Same same bounds as her MC. And, and it does receive a separating trine from the moon from Scorpio, which is not great, but some it's something. Um, yeah, moons and, and Mercury's bounds. Um, moons ruling the second. So having to do with voice and appearances, uh, security assets, self-esteem, self-worth, all that. Jupiter also ruling the seventh, so, you know, personal relationships, the crowd, things like that. Um, generally quite, quite, quite good. Not the best, but quite good. Um, yeah, Venus, you know, it's dispositive by, well, the bounds Lord is, is Venus and Mars's sign um, and Mars's bounds. So that's interesting. And she is quite Martian. So then, um, you know, who wears a meat dress? Venus and Aries and Mars's bounds. Yeah. That's who. All right, Marvin Gaye. Um, Marvin Gaye has two intense oppositions here. Um, both of them, I think, are related to the father, but let's see here. Um, so Jupiter is in is in domicile in Pisces, but it's in Mars's bounds. Uh, moon is in Virgo, but it's also in Mars's bounds. Um, and it's a direct opposition. Um, moon to uh, moon, uh. so Mars ruling the the MC as well. Mars is in Capricorn, uh, so it's exalted. So Mercury's balanced, but it's opposite Chiron. Where when Mars is opposite, when Mars is in Capricorn, opposite Cancer, it harms uh anything that's in Cancer that's directly opposite. So this Chiron is harmed, right? Um, Chiron usually doesn't represent a person; it represents Oh, I don't. I mean, it's, I guess it's hard to say, but typically represents um, um, just something that's very like weird or unique or or uh, um, potential for uh, being hurt and wounded and rejected, right? But there's some harm going on with this opposition, especially from the sixth house, the very aggressive Mars, right? Um. And says Mars, Chiron's probably not somebody else, right? It's probably him. And Mars is, Mars is, um, it's espousing the sun, right? So this does relate to his father. Um, and he was shot by his father, obviously. But we, uh, looking at the Jupiter moon opposition. So 
um, Jupiter does not help Moon in Virgo because Jupiter is in domicile in, in, in Pisces. And then even though Jupiter and Moon is a good combination, it's not helping, it's not helping this moon. Moon, moon's the ascendant lord, right? Um, Jupiter's the ninth lord. And, and one of the things about the ninth lord, the ninth lord or the ninth house especially the ninth Lord can represent a person being older or physical or, or um, physical older or teacherly. Right. So it can, um, I think potentially represent the father because you can have like priests, teachers, philosophers, gurus, that sort of thing. Somebody who's in an older position who <clears throat> has some kind of teaching authority. So that can translate into the father, especially if it's Jupiter. Right. <clears throat> Now you'd think Jupiter is in really good dignity here, but it, it is in Mars's bounds. And this Mars is harmful. This is a malefic Mars. It's a daytime chart, right? So Mars is the out-of-sec malefic. Um, it's in the sixth house where it's very strong and it's in Capricorn. So I mean, strong Mars do cause harm when they when if if they have oppositions, especially. Um, and then this this moon's in Mars's bounds. So Jupiter's in Mars's bounds, moon's in Mars's bounds. It's in Virgo. It's conjunct Neptune, Moon Neptune. So it's, uh, you know, can add a lot of creativity to this otherwise very perfectionist kind of Virgo um, quality in the third house. Um, so writing, speaking, communicating, right? Um, but yeah, it's 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 not it's not. I think there's some good things about this Jupiter. You're right, this this Jupiter is being helped out a lot, so he probably was, um, you know, very spiritual in in many ways. I mean, this you know this so also supported by this Venus in in Pisces in Venus's bounds, right? So he probably did have very for himself, um, a, a, like a spiritual quality, connection to God, connection to religion, connection to, um, you know, philosophical or higher minded things, very ninth house kind of stuff, right? But um, at the same time, this moon, uh, which is hit, his ascendant lord, is, is not good, right? Plus, he has Pluto in Cancer at the anorak degree, retrograde in the first house. I mean, that's not good either, right? But his career is strong. I mean, a sun and exalted sun in, you know, in, very close to the MC. Um, and the the MC is in Venus's bounds with Venus in great dignity here in the eighth house, um, sexual healing, right? Come on. It's, it's there. So anyway, mixed bag with Marvin Gaye, I think. Ariana Grande. Um, moon, Jupiter and Libra. I think one's in Saturn, one's in, in Mercury's bounds. Um, it's in the 10th whole sign house. So that's very prominent for her career, even though her MC is in the 11th whole sign house with, with Mars, 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 both bounds and, and domicile Lord Mars, Mars and Virgo in the, uh, ninth. Well, yeah, ninth whole sign house, but eighth quadrant. Um, so interesting, but anyway, um, Moon's ruling the seventh, Jupiter ruling the twelfth, and the third whole sign house. Um, so I don't know if she writes her own music at all or not. I have no idea, really. If she did, that would be great. She probably doesn't, because a lot of these pop stars don't. They just, you know, look pretty and sing and dance, and that's it. <laughs> Um, but this is going to boost her career success a lot. Venus is in Taurus in, so it's domicile Venus, obviously. Venus uh, is the dispositing that conjunction. Uh, Venus is in Jupiter's bounds um, in Taurus. So that seems quite good, quite strong Venus uh, in the uh, fifth fifth whole sign house, fourth quadrant, fifth whole sign house. So seems seems to add up. Uh, there's a square 
from Sun and Cancer to Jupiter. Uh, and that's, well, it's, it's quite good for actually for the, I think it's good for the sun because both moon and Jupiter uh, are dignified in cancer, but the sun to Libra less, less good and sun being in the superior position. Um, anyway, that's probably going a bit too far. Sun's the eighth Lord in the sixth in cancer. Um, I'm not sure. Eighth and the sixth is supposed to be good, but anyway, I, that's it's not what we're talking about. But so that's probably a mixed bag. But this is going to boost her career success a lot. Jimi Hendrix. Now he's got another one, a great one. Um, they're separating though. Jupiter's retrograde, Moon's about to move into Leo. Jupiter's the Ascendant Lord, and Jupiter's in its own bounds. So Jupiter's great, right? Although it's retrograde and in conjunct the Ascendant. Um, so it's, it's it has its own problems, right? Um, so when the Ascendant Lord's retrograde, these people just do not go along. They, they are rebels. They break the rules. They do what they want. Jupiter's in its own bounds, so even more so, it's just completely going to do what it wants to do, and fuck you. <laughs> Basically. Who cares what you think? This is Jimi Hendrix. He's going to do whatever the fuck he wants. <laughs> and he, he very much represents this in conjunct, which is powerful, right? Jupiter's in the eighth eighth position. It's eighth whole sign house. It's in conjunct. is six eighth. It's in the powerful. So he represents that very dominant uh, scorpionic quality. Very scorpionic, Jimmy. Um, Jupiter is also ruling the third house, guitar, right? I mean, how how great is this? Yeah, this Jupiter. It's exalted and it's in its own bounds and it's conjunct the moon. Now, moon's moon's not as good because it's in Saturn's bounds. Um, not great. So, like you know, moon and Capricorn, obviously, right? Not not, not nearly as good um moon moon ruling the eighth whole sign house so it's the eighth lord you could say eighth lord in somewhat good dignity but bad bounds so some there's some 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 issues there with that moon um yeah but this makes him especially because it still has seventh house significations uh people love him people are gonna love Jimi hendrix gonna right like he's something that's happening in the future no people do do love did love will love jimmy hendrix it's also jupiter's also dispositing three planets here mercury sun venus right so it's bringing um good dignity to them just by being you know it's in exalted in its own bounds right they're in jupiter's bounds too all three of them so doubly so yeah very important. All right. Even his career comes down to this because it's a Venus and it's domicile Libra and Venus is bound. So we look to Venus. Venus is combust, but it's in Jupiter's bounds and Jupiter's domicile, right? Um, and then Jupiter being in such good dignity. Um Conjunct the moon in its own balance, exalted, right? So that's what it comes down to for Jimi Hendrix. Alfred Hitchcock, moon, moon, Jupiter, and Scorpio. Of course, of course. In Mars is bounds, of course, right? Um, this tick here, in case you're wondering, is probably is series, not probably it is. All right, so Mars, Mars, moon, Jupiter ruled by Mars, um, with in the so it's in the in the fourth, clearly in the fourth. Uh, Jupiter ruling the sixth quadrant of fifth whole sign house, and the ninth quadrant, but eighth whole sign house. Interesting, right? Okay, so we say eighth, ninth. So like 
eighth, obviously, for themes of horror, uh, with Jupiter and Scorpio in Mars is bounds, very much so, right? Um, moon ruling the 12th, obviously, movies, creativity, you know, subconscious. Um, moon and Scorpio, not great, but um, good for like horror stuff, right? Um, Jupiter ruling the eighth and ninth, so philosophy, adventure, belief systems, things like that. Um, and then fifth, sixth, both make sense because uh, entertainment as well as um you know daily grind daily work right thingy things that you do on a mundane daily basis um dispositing a bunch of planets here too so i mean they're all answering to jupiter who's answering to mars and mars is in libra but in saturn's bounds so this mars is very interesting right yeah you might think okay it's not it's not so strong in libra passive aggressive whatnot but it's in Saturn's bounds and Saturn is the exaltation Lord of Mars, right? Mars is exalted in Capricorn. So it gains some, some dignity by my count by Saturn here. Also Saturn's exalted in, in Libra's sign. So this, this bounds is, is probably the best one to have to be in uh, for, for Mars. Um, yeah, I'd say, I mean, Venus's bounds might be good in another way. Well, then it's doubly anyway. Um, I think that's okay. And it's third, uh, third whole sign out, third quadrant. So that has to do with writing, intellect, communication, right? So that's he's writing, writing his horror stuff, right? That's what it's coming to. And it's more interesting. It's yeah, it's Libra and the and then the Saturn. So it's like mixed, mixed bag. Um, but yeah, moon, moon, Jupiter, and in Scorpio and Mars's bounds for horror in the forest. So what's what about the fourth house? Well, um, <clears throat> land right so if you're a movie director um you are going to want to need you you're going to need to be able to build stuff you're going to need we see this often believe it or not like with uh movie producers and directors and and writers and and things like that uh we see a strong fourth house because they need the fourth house is the the whole set right the whole fourth house is like what are you going to do to make this believable and realistic that's the fourth house um so yeah it's and it's actually aspecting the ascendant by square so this moon jupiter um is by square you know um influencing his ascendant and it's in jupiter's bounds so that's actually not not bad all right and then ascendant lord suns in leo in mercury's bounds mercury's exalted in virgo in its own bounds this mercury it's very strong, even though it's re retrograde. Yeah. Okay. Adolf Hitler, everyone's favorite fascist um, dictator. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> this one is an un unusual one. Moon, moon, Jupiter conjunct South Node in the third. It's a fourth, fourth old sign house, in fact, and. We got moon in Mercury's bounds, Jupiter in its own bounds, um, which is really great because moon, Jupiter, this is opposite of like uh, Jimi Hendrix and a bunch of other people, Kurt Cobain, uh, because it's in Capricorn where moon's um, in detriment and Jupiter is debilitated or exile. Um, both in poor dignity, right? Capricorn, very materialistic, um, not always, right? But leader, leadership, um, wanting to build something, right? And here we have fourth whole sign house, which very much relates to um, ruling over the land, right? Politics, uh, caring for the land, moon, Jupiter, Capricorn, leadership. Uh, Jupiter is in its own bounds. So it's like there is some level of um, um, dignity as far as being, being a Jupiterian type of a, a teacher, right? Some people considered him to have a certain kind of wisdom or philosophy, right? Mein Kampf, oh, this very wise stuff, Mein Kampf. Oh yeah, the Jews are horrible. Let's kill them, right? Great teacher. Yeah, no. But anyway, um, so, but there is some, there is, even if, if it's poor dignity, people did like him, Moon Jupiter, right? But they were not good people. They're people murderous and psychopathic, right? 
uh, third house, intellect, communication, third and fourth house, right? Um, this was his mind, plus the south node. The south node Jupiter really strengthens the sort of, um, not it, it, it drains the luck out of Jupiter. Usually these people have good luck in the first half of their life, but maybe not even so much because of the poor dignity here. Um, but then afterwards, Jupiter is not so much a physical entity anymore as it is a spiritual entity. South node Jupiter spiritualizes both whatever it touches, really, uh, especially in the second half of life. So then they they become they don't have the luck of Jupiter anymore, but they have the wisdom of Jupiter. Right. Um, I have in my seventh house, South node Jupiter. Right. Um, I'm not very lucky, but I do have Jupiterian knowledge. Um, yeah. So anyway. And also the moon. Right. Moon, moon, south node. That, too, creates um, potential psychic ability. But here I would say much probably more like just like intuitive, a certain kind of intuition. Right. Maybe not like a very profound or deep intuition. Obviously, obviously, he didn't have the intuition to tell him not to kill six million Jews and other people, you know, not not only Jews, but many, many people. Right. But um, the MC is in Jupiter's bounds. Right. That's interesting. Saturn, although not good dignity, is in its own bounds. Interesting. Um, but let's see. Moon um, is is actually ruling the 10th whole sign house, but it's the ninth quadrant. So it has to do with it. Um, it does have to do with his career, public image, but also um, it's also dispositing, you know, all these series, North Node, Chiron, and Part of Fortune. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so it's ten whole, so it's his career, but it's also his philosophy and belief system, right? Because it's not only Moon Jupiter, it's ninth quadrant, you know. So his subjective experience that's still bringing in that uh, ninth house element, even though it's tenth whole sign house. Um, what else? Jupiter ruling the sixth whole sign house. So this 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 is Pisces. Um, so sixth. Fifth quadrant and uh, third. Right. So intellect and you know conflict, competition, sixth house, daily Monday and stuff. Anyway, um, yeah. Um, interesting because so south node is so it's involving the node nodes are in moon sign in the 10th whole sign house is very clear indication that he's going to have a um, very career focus north node in the 10th whole sign house, even though it's the ninth, but mixing in belief and philosophy. Um, what kind of philosophy? Not a very good one. <laughs> Moon, Jupiter in Capricorn. All right. Whitney Houston. <clears throat> Moon, Jupiter in the second with Jupiter stationary in Aries. Uh, in Mercury's bounds, right? So this Jupiter stationary conjunct the Moon, second house, fantastic. I mean, there's no, there's no, there's no division here. It's the second quadrant, second whole sign house. It's it's Jupiter stationary, um, a stationary planet, which is not. So, um, I know I make. If you watch a lot of my videos, you know I make a big deal about stationary planets. A stationary planet is like automatic dignity, no matter what else. Right. Even if it's in poor dignity, a stationary planet will give tremendous amount of dignity to the planet. Um, I've seen that again and again. Now, can there be ex exceptions or uh, you know, other, you know, other factors that that weaken the dignity? Sure. Of course. Right. But this is a great, great combination. I mean, and she was a legend, you know, legendary, phenomenal singer. Right. Um, <clears throat> and look to Mercury. Mercury's in, in um, exalted. In Venus's bounds, um, domicile and exaltation. Venus's bounds, right? Venus is in. Uh, looks like it's in Saturn's bounds. Um, Leo, but anyway. Um, yeah, Moon. So Jupiter is the ascendant lord. Jupiter stationary. Uh, Moon is ruling the fifth, fifth house, entertainment, right? Perfect. North node. North node and Jupiter's bounds in Cancer. That's a great North node. 
obviously it didn't turn out well for her at the end, but that's due probably to other factors. Jupiter is also the MC Lord. In, again, in Mercury's bounds. Ascendant in, in Pisces, but in Venus's bounds. Venus is exalted in Pisces, so that's a really good um, uh, bounds to, to, to have uh, Ascendant rising. Um, yeah, so that's incredible. I mean, incredible voice. All right, Angelina Jolie. Moon, Jupiter, and Aries in the 10th whole sign house uh, and pretty much conjunct the, the, the MC. So uh, from the ninth quadrant, right? And then furthermore, Mars is in Aries uh, dignifying um, the, the sign of Aries in domicile. This is a daytime chart. So Mars is the out of sec malefic, but some pretty good dignity here. And if this one makes this Mars and Aries definitely makes her more aggressive, right? Especially as far as public public image appearance, the kind of movies that she'll, you know, that she can um, act in and represent, which, you know, she does. She does action films, you know, um, Tomb Raider, you know, stuff like that, adventure action, things like that. That's, you know, Mars and Aries influencing this moon Jupiter. But the moon Jupiter, um, it's going to definitely... Um, help out her career tremendously right jupiter alone will but moon even more so when they're together um jupiter's ruling the ninth so yeah philosophy belief system but also adventure and travel right right so she could be very adventurous she can play adventurous stuff um adventurous roles in movies um but also you know i think she's very sort of philosophical in nature on her own. I mean, as Pisces, very liberal, uh, compassionate, you know, adopting children and stuff, which would be a fifth house thing, but as well as a ninth house thing, because she has to believe in it. Right? But we do see that the Jupiter's ruling the it's actually the sixth whole sign house, but um, it's taking up a lot of the fifth quadrant. So, you know, children uh, again, and then North Node and, and Neptune and Sag and Jupiter's bounds. So very much looking to Jupiter. Jupiter, Moon and Jupiter are in Mercury's bounds. This tick is actually Mars. Um, Mars and Venus is bounds. But these are in Mercury's bounds. Mercury's in Gemini and Mars is bounds. Um, so anyway, uh, Venus is connected to the Ascendant. Yep. Um, hmm. Wait, moon. So Moon is the Ascendant Lord. I forgot about that. Okay, yeah. Moon's the Ascendant Lord. Jupiter, fifth and ninth. Yeah. Um, that's pretty harmonious. Pretty strong. Definitely. Venus ruling the eleventh house. Um, conjunct the Ascendant makes her very popular as far as her looks. Beautiful. Right? Janice Joplin singing her heart out with the moon Jupiter combination in cancer. Right. Um, moon, 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 Jupiter and cancer in the fifth house. Actually six. It's actually six. I'm sorry. Well, fifth quadrant, fifth quadrant, six whole sign house. So some of both, right. Uh, Jupiter's retrograde moons applying to Jupiter. So that actually good. Moons and Venus is bound. So as tough as she was, she's pre protecting a very sensitive heart. Moons and Cancer and Venus is bound. Very sensitive, emotional, feminine, um, artistic heart that was a, greatly expanded by Jupiter in Mercury's bound, but applying. So it's, you know, like when she sang, she's singing her heart out, right? Literally in the fifth house. I mean, it was just so literal. Um, moon, so moon's ruling the sixth whole sign house, but fifth quadrant. So bringing in el also elements of, um, you know, the sixth house significations, conflict, um, daily mundane issues, um, the difficult connection to the ascendant. So there's tr some trouble here, 
much for sure. Um, Jupiter ruling the MC in, Ju in Jupiter's bounds. So that's, yeah, very much representing her career. Uh, dispositing Mars as well. And Jupiter's also ruling the voice, the second whole sign house and the second quadrant. Right? Her voice. It's Jupiter actually, I think it's in Jupiter's bounds, to be honest. It looks like it is. And just let me check for sure. To be clear, Jupiter in Jupiter's bounds. Yeah. So that's why it's so powerful. It's exalted in Jupiter's bounds. It's ruling the MC, clearly, domicile and bound lord. Um, Spositing Mars and second house. So, yeah. I mean, it's brilliant for a singer. Singing her heart out. Robert Downey Jr. All right. Moon, Jupiter, and Taurus. Now here, moon, uh, moon's in Jupiter's bounds. Jupiter is in Saturn's bounds. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. It's 10th tenth, tenth house, obviously. 10th whole sign house. 10th uh, quadrant. So, very successful career. Moon's exalted in Jupiter's bounds. Right? So, they're very connected. Um, it's applying. So, um, Jupiter's in Saturn's bounds, which probably not as good, right? Um, Saturn, Saturn's in the eighth, uh, in Pisces, in either Venus or Jupiter's bounds. Interesting. So, that's kind of a mutual reception between Saturn and, and Jupiter. And considering his troubles, that kind of makes sense, right? You know, having all these troubles, Saturn, it's a day chart, but. You know, so Mars is the out of sec malefic, but um, Mars opposite Saturn uh, and, and Uranus. So there, we do see this trouble with this, especially with the Saturn in the eighth. And, you know, like eighth house, um, even fourth house, I think we I often, you know, we often associate 12th house with like jail or prison. But I think eighth house and fourth house can have share similar associations. Eighth house is like a dungeon. Fourth house is like being trapped at home. Right. So it's, it, you know. They can all represent jail because I, I think he went to jail for a little while. Um, but anyway, there's there's that issue, especially Saturn with Saturn and water houses, definitely. Um, let's see. Let me just, I don't think we did the house rulership with this. So Moon's ruling in twelfth. That makes sense for movies, acting, creativity. Jupiter ruling the fifth again, arts, entertainment um and the eighth yeah so we have that mutual reception between like you know troubles crisis eighth house saturn and career success jupiter alicia keys uh so yeah moon saturn jupiter where saturn's exalted jupiter stationary very powerful okay um, that's amazing. It's her ascendant lord. And again, this this ascendant at the early degrees of Pisces, where Venus in Venus is bounds, Venus is exalted in Pisces. So very creative, very creative ascendant. Um, Jupiter's the ascendant lord. Now Jupiter's in Mercury's bounds, but it's stationary. Very powerful. And it's in the eighth whole sign house. So for it's per, yeah, I mean, I would say Jupiter stationary being. The Ascendant Lord, um, the uh, sec, sec Benefic, um, conjuncted, I mean, even though it's conjunct Saturn, it's exalted Saturn. Um, and then Moon's applying, Moon's applying to Saturn and, and, and Jupiter. Um, let's see, it's in Mercury's bound. So Venus is in its own bounds, even though it's in Capricorn. Um in the 11th house, this definitely makes her, you know, has a lot of popularity, maybe not the best combination, but still it has some dignity, Venus here. Um, Venus is also the, has triplicity. I don't often consider that. I'm still not convinced of how effective it is, but uh, so sometimes I ignore it. But anyway, um, <clears throat> and then we see Mercury in, in the 12th conjunct Mars. Um, so it's very creative, this Mercury. Um, let's see. Moon. 
Moon ruling the fifth, fifth sign, fifth quadrant. Jupiter ruling the ascendant and the MC. Right? Neptune, Neptune in uh, Sag in the tenth. So uh, career for an artist. I mean, that's perfect, right? You just don't want to see this for a politician when, where it's just like really it's Neptune's alone in the 10th and it's just Neptune. That just means that they're lying like Joe Biden. I always point that out because that's literally you can't fool astrology. Astrology is right. Uh, Joe Biden is a perpetual liar and a perpetual actor. He does not know how to do otherwise. So. Take that. Not to get too political or anything, but it always makes me think about that. I see like artists with Neptune in the tenth, and I'm like, yeah, that's perfect. Just don't become a politician because you're just gonna fucking lie 100 percent of the time. All right, um, the powerful, sexual, deep, intimate, <clears throat> creative, Venusian, right. um, and it's combining. I mean, might as well look at Saturn, um. 11th and 12th houses. Interesting. So 12th house, a lot of creativity, 11th house, popularity. And it's exalted. So it's like, you know, pretty good. Marilyn Monroe. <clears throat> Moon Jupiter in the seventh. Come on, guys loved her, right? Moon's in Jupiter's bounds. Jupiter's and Saturn's bounds. So both in Aquarius. Um, so, I mean, you know, and it's opposite Neptune in the first. And that's really key because this is this is her exotic beauty right here. A lot of it. A big portion, portion of that. Sun and, Ju Sun and Mercury and Jupiter's bounds. Right? Um, so Saturn is dispositing um, this Jupiter. And it's Saturn and Scorpio and Jupiter's bounds. Kind of mixed reception here, but Saturn and Scorpio in the fourth, um, not great. Um, trying Mars in the eighth and Pisces and Mars is bounds. Junk Uranus and Saturn is bound. Pisces, mm -hmm. not, not great. I mean, so like, yeah, like a lot of success, but also we can see kind of some, some bad things down the road. Um, let's see, Jupiter's ruling the eighth. And it is ruling the fifth. Um, yeah, so Jupiter um, is bringing in a lot of this eighth house sexuality, especially Mars in Pisces. Mars and Mars is very sexual. Right? So Jupiter is tying that in uh, with seventh house relationships. And then Moon ruling the twelfth house. Very exotic or, you know, like for anything, movies, Right. Um, creativity, 12th house. You know, that's that's also marrying foreigners. I mean, there could be many different interpretations, but um, <clears throat> moon answers to Jupiter because it's in Jupiter's bound. Um, this is applying, you know, and mixing in with this Neptune as well. It's very like, especially the, you know, pinup girl. The Neptune in the front, especially in Leo and the Ju moon Jupiter in the seventh. Um, but then this water, grand water trine is, is not, I mean, it's it's really deep and intense, probably adds a lot to her sexuality, but um, da very dangerous. Ozzy Osbourne. Now, Ozzy Osbourne has the moon Jupiter in Capricorn. But with Mars there, Mars exalted in Capricorn um, in the second quadrant, third whole sign house. <clears throat> Moon's in Jupiter's bounds. Jupiter and Mars are in Mercury's bounds. Um, so the moon has a little benefit of being in Jupiter's bounds. Um, but not a lot, right? They're both in Capricorn. But this Mars exalted, so this is Mars is Mars is um, not domicile, but exaltation. So Mars is kind of the most dignified planet here. Even though Moon and Jupiter are like each other, just not in Capricorn. Um, so it's interesting, uh, and this this is very much influencing his voice. 
Um, but also his expression, his third hole sign house. Mm. You know, and we know what kind of music he plays. I mean, we got the Scorpio rising, but this also, this moon, Mars, Jupiter in Capricorn brings it d down into like darkness and heaviness. <clears throat> uh, Mars is the ascendant lord, it's exalted, and it's in Jupiter's bound, so it does answer to Jupiter into to some ex to some degree. Jupiter is ruling the fourth. Um, the IC is in, in again in that the Venus Pisces combination. Venus bounds. That's quite good. All right, so the fourth house, so youth, home, homeland. Uh, it's also, but it is the fifth quadrant, fifth fifth whole sign house. Sorry, fifth whole sign house. So bring in the entertainment, arts, um, a fun fifth house stuff, topics, um, and then moons ruling the ninth. Um, what's really interesting is that Ozzy Osbourne is a Christian. Moon ruling the ninth ninth whole sign house. Uh, even though he's taking up most of the eighth, um. <clears throat> He does pray before he goes and sings about, you know, the devil and Satan stuff. <laughs> now, I mean, he sings about a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm not trying to drag him through the mud or anything like that. But his music is a little bit dark, and that's okay. Um, he 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 tries to be good. That uh, is moon rolling the ninth. Um, you know, dignified, I think, to some extent by this Mars, because Mars is exalted here. Um so Jupiter fourth and there's Sag. So second whole sign house, right? Obviously. Dispositing Chiron, Mercury, Sun, Spirit. Uh second and the third is great for singing. Second whole sign house in the third. And and not only that, Chiron, Mercury, and Sun are in Jupiter's bounds. So really answering to Jupiter here. Um. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's keep going. I mean, a lot of these significations still apply. I'm just not, you know, repeating myself. Like Moon Jupiter is a great combination, and will uh, will attract um people. You know, regardless, like will expand the heart. Um. Will make a person more lovable in many in, in different ways like we're seeing in different examples right like obviously not everyone loves hitler he's not everyone's cup of tea but a lot of people did right i'm being facetious my dark humor or whatever all right uh edgar Allan poe <clears throat> got the double mars influence here and, um ascendant and bounds um not trying to read all this chart but anyway um, moon, moon, Jupiter. Well, he's got Ceres, Venus, Moon, Pluto, Jupiter in Pisces, <clears throat> all in the fifth, fifth whole sign house. So, arts, entertainment, creativity, fun games, romance. Um, yeah. So, not fun reading this. All right. So, Jupiter seems to be in Mercury's bounds. Pluto's in Ju Jupiter's bounds. Moon is exactly conjunct and exalted Venus in Venus's bounds. Along with series. So that's really interesting. So I mean, he was like, his poetry was like so excessive, so like gushy and mushy and all that. He's calling me. I have to pause it for a second. I'm back. I had to take an important phone call. All right. Um, a ground po. Yeah, yeah, this mushy gushy, but also like Pluto, right? dark but like you know like excessive and watery and <clears throat> um yeah anyway all right so um jupiter which is in mercury's bounds um jupiter ruling the second so his aesthetics his style his taste his his sort of appearance how he wants to present his his artwork um as well as the fifth whole sign house and then moon ruling the ninth. So bring in philosophy. This is very dark philosophy, right? Moon, moon, Venus, but moon, Pluto as well. Right. Um, 
into into things and then and then venus is is you know not only exalted it's in its own bounds so that's really powerful and strong and then moon is in venus's bounds exactly conjunct um pluto is in jupiter's bounds in jupiter sign so it's probably you know it's even though he was quite destructive this is kind of dignifying this this pluto i think making it a bit nicer than it would be otherwise um but it's still damaging the moon and venus i think and then jupiter's and mercury's bounds which is um conjunct the sun kazemi the sun in mars Mar mars capricorn so yeah. um an interesting actually that's you know probably adds some strength there being in mars's bounds anyway Let's let's keep on. I mean, there's so much to say about each one of these charts. It's just difficult to cut it off and just leave it about what one thing. So Dwayne the Ron, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, Dwayne the Johnson Rock. Uh, he's got Moon Jupiter and Capricorn. Where have we seen that one before? Oh, only with Hitler and Ozzy Osbourne. So here's the thing. Jupiter is in its own bounds. Moon's in Mercury's bounds. This is the fourth whole sign house, the third quadrant. See, I don't think The Rock's all that nice of a person. I really don't. I think he plays one on TV. I think he's happy with his, you know, nearly a billion dollars and his, you know, uber success status that he enjoys. But I really don't think he's all that great of a human being. Just call it a hunch, call it whatever you want. Do I have proof? No. But I think he's 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 like friends with Oprah, right? He's just one of those guys. Like, let's let's burn all the poor natives in Hawaii and buy up their land for cheap. Nobody will know. We'll just call it a, a rack, you know, a fire, like whatever. Uh, even though it's like space lasers and shit. So he's he's like that. Let's let's kill all the natives and buy up their land. All right. <clears throat> he does have this Mars Venus in in um in, in Gemini in Saturn's bounds and that that is very prominent for like you know bodybuilding and stuff like that um but moon's ruling the MC moon so look at this MC it's in cancer and in Jupiter's bounds very powerful MC all, all you know right away and then Jupiter's in its own bounds in Capricorn but still um and then moon you know moon's ruling the MC so both moon and Jupiter pretty much ruling the MC uh the bound Jupiter's bounds in Jupiter's Jupiter's bounds, right? Jupiter's bounds, Jupiter's bounds. Um, moon ruling the MC and the South Node in the third house. <laughs> communication, fourth house as well. So, you know, somewhat representing, representing, um, what, what does he represent? Um, what, is his, what is he, Samoan? I don't want to misrepresent him, but he represents his people, whoever they are. Um, and third house, communication. Obviously, um, yeah. Also, hands for wrestling, right? Third house will represent the hands, and these this is applying, so it's something that's future oriented. Jupiter ruling the six, also competition, right? For you know, he's a wrestler, so that makes a lot of sense. Six in the third, and um. The third lord, right? Third quadrant, third whole sign house, and the fourth whole sign house, but third quadrant. Right? So I mean, it, it adds up, right? Six when third and sixth house come together, they can mean fighting, right? Because you're talking about the hands and competition. So put him. Charlie Sheen. Another love hate kind of um theme playing out. Um. All right. It's got Jupiter and Gemini. It's in Saturn's bounds, so not really a great Jupiter, not at all, right? Jupiter's ruling the eleventh house. So, what kind of friends does he have? <clears throat> not 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 great ones, because the dignity is not there. Um. So is he beloved by tons of people? Probably not. Uh, Jupiter is also ruling the seventh. So does he have a great 
relationship with with partners yeah probably not it's also south node so it's like the older he gets especially after age 42 kind of drying up those relationships when he's young yeah south node is in jupiter's bounds um yeah people probably loved him for his looks right but that's going to dry up <clears throat> um but jupiter but moon so moons and sag uh, moon's in looks like Mars is bounds by the way Mars or Saturn is not great for for moon um, moon ruling and it, actually Jupiter is ruling the 10th whole sign house I, I should also say that so his career his career yeah how's his career doing mm, was good um, moon's ruling the second whole sign house so also having to do with his appearances, his assets, security, the way he looks, his dresses. So there's some conflict here between about money, about appearances, <clears throat> about um, superficial stuff with with others, with with um, you know moon seventh whole sign house, but you know eighth eighth quadrant you could say so seventh moving into the eighth. The shared resources could come up. Um, but definitely relationships is big, not not good ones, not healthy ones. This is not a good opposition, but there's some affinity between moon and Jupiter, regardless, right? Jupiter is dignifying this this moon. Moon is the second whole sign house, so he probably does make money, but it's it's mixed. Okay. There's a square to series. I don't know. It's probably not good. Jupiter ruling it, but anyway, we can see how there's a lot of this conflict with 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 Moon Jupiter, and I think like when he was younger things went better, but then as he's older, you know, with the North Node in the first house becoming we're very self obsessed, right? Um, North Node and Jupiter's bounds, Jupiter and Saturn's bounds, Saturn and Jupiter's bounds. So there's some, um, you know, back and forth there, mutual reception. Saturn and Jupiter's sign and bounds. Right. So there's a lot of stuff going on, but it's like not great. As far as TV show goes, Mars is in Scorpio, but it's in Venus's bounds. And then Neptune here, this helps out a lot for TV. Right. Venus's own sign, domicile, and then in Jupiter's bounds, you know, it could keep going, but let's move on. Uh, Sylvester Stallone, Moon, Jupiter, and Libra conjunct the MC. Um, MC and Venus is bounds, Venus domicile. Jupiter is in its own bounds. And then Moon's in Venus is bounds. Very powerful for career. And it's in the 11th whole sign house. So what does that say? Popularity, groups, networks. Um, working with others, right? Expendables, groups, networks, right? He's always, Sylvester Stallone movies, they're always like a who's who of celebrities. Like he knows everyone, he's super popular and he brings everyone together, 11th house career, Moon Jupiter. I mean, too easy, come on. Um, it is the eighth whole sign house, but it's most of the seventh quadrant. So it's bringing in seventh, eighth. So like other people, relationships, as well as, powerful or intimate kind of relationship relationships or shared resources right uh sun saturn um it's moon jupiter's ruling the ascendant the ascendant lord it's in its own bounds um you know venus is okay it's in mercury's bounds it's in the eighth conjunct pluto i mean that's you know but like look at the kind of movies he does like rocky fight him beat them up crime drama you know heavy hitting kind of movies right they're not lightweight it's very eighth house stuff eighth house themes for sure um jupiter is also ruling the third quadrant third cusp i'm not going to put any significance that the cusp is right on jupiter's bounds because again these are not these 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 cusp angles are not solid like don't be attached to them 
they can move depending on what house system you use. They're general guidelines. So just treat these house, the uh, non-angular house cusps as general guidelines. They're loose. They could be anywhere. They could be a few degrees here, there, anywhere, right? So anyway. Um, so yeah, Jupiter's ruling the third house. And what's funny is that, like, it's not funny. He wrote Rocky, and then he took the script to, like, Hollywood, and they're like, um, great script. We're not going to use you. We'll we'll pay you for the script. You're out, right? He's like, no, the deal is you got to use me. Um, otherwise, no deal, right? And so he forces, he pushed his way in there, right? Very eighth house theme. Um, and it, success, right? Jupiter, moon, in great dignity. Um, you know, Jupiter's in Jupiter's bounds, obviously. Moon's in Venus, bounds in domicile, um, which is fine but it's conjunct Jupiter. And so great success. Third house, writing. And Ascendant Lord. Ascendant Lord in Jupiter's bounds, uh, Jupiter's domicile, Mars bounds. Mars and Virgo, Venus bounds. Mars and Virgo is pretty tough too. Definitely a fighter. Yeah. All right. Taylor Swift. She's very fast. She's very swift. <laughs> All right. Um, moon, Jupiter, and Cancer. I mean, it's in the eighth house, so probably not the best house to have it. But, um, you know, uh, what do they call Swifties, right? Uh, if you're a fan of, of Taylor Swift, you're a Swifty. And you probably love her a lot, right? Because of this moon, Jupiter in Cancer, Jupiter's retrograde, um, applying. So it's applying. Um, Jupiter's in Venus's bounds, which seems good. Good. It's, I mean, no, like the best. The best. Um, moon's in Mars's bounds, which in Cancer probably not isn't great, right? Mars and Cancer is highly, it's aggressive, emotional, violent, sexual, right? Some people would be like, yeah, all right, that's great. Um, but it's it's not the, the best dignity as far as, as far as bounds go, if we're looking at that. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, she's got so much dignity in her chart. I mean, Mars, Ascendant Lord Mars, conjunct the Ascendant, it's in Saturn's bounds, but um, it's a nighttime chart. But Saturn's in dignity in, in, in Capricorn. But all right, let's uh Jupiter's ruling the IC, so youth, you know, starting out early and Venus's bounds really good. Um and moon obviously ruling cancer. That's it's actually the ninth pole sign house, but it's the eighth quadrant. So bridging eighth and ninth themes. Um, and then Jupiter also ruling the second whole sign house. So bringing in elements of, of the voice, right? Into this eighth house of secrecy and things. And she's another one. I mean, she's, come on guys. She's Illuminati, you know, whatever. I mean, she's into that dark demonic stuff. She dresses up as Satan or Satan-esque type stuff. Eighth house, cancer. Come on. It's there. I know a lot of people don't want to see all that. Scorpio rising. Are you kidding? You, you kidding me? You tell me she's not into the occult. Scorpio rising with Pluto and Mars and Scorpio in the first whole sign house. And then Moon Jupiter and Cancer in the eighth quadrant. Please. Moon's in Mars's bounds. She's occultic. Deeply, but people love her. I mean, eighth house is very powerful, intimate, deep, penetrating, psychological, right? Um, and so Jupiter's ruling the fourth and the second. Um, and it's actually the fifth whole sign house, so that makes sense both ways, you know, starting out young, but also fifth house creativity, second house voice appearances, yeah. She's got secrets. She's hiding things. Don't be fooled. 
people who don't have really strong eighth or twelfth house or water sign or fourth house energy, they 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 do get confused and um deceived by water placements. They do because they don't understand it. They're like, nope, I only see the reflection on the surface. That's what it is. You're wrong, but that's all you see because that's all you know because that's all you can. That's all you know within yourself because you just don't have enough water houses placements signs to understand how water works. It hides things. It obfuscates things. It puts out a reflection on the surface of the water. Underneath, there's something else going on. It's secret. And it takes a water personality to understand that there's things going on underneath. Uh, Van Gogh, Cancer rising with in Jupiter's bounds. So Jupiter's exalted in Cancer. So it's very powerful uh, rising already. Um, and then Moon, Moon, Jupiter are conjunct in Sag. Jupiter's in domicile. Um, it's conjunct the South Node, South Node Moon. Moon's in Mercury's bounds, Saturn, or sorry, South Node and Jupiter are in Saturn's bounds. So um, it's mixed, right? Jupiter's in, dom in domicile, but it's in Saturn's bounds. Moon's the Ascendant Lord, uh, but it's conjunct the South Node. So that, that is difficult. It's in the sixth house as well. And then Moon is in conjunct the Ascendant. Um, so, I mean, that's probably good and bad. Right, it's the ascendant lord in conjunct the ascendant. So yeah, good, because it's dignifying the ascendant from from you know it's and there's, there's mixed reception here because also the the it's in the sign of the bound lord, Sag Jupiter. Um, so there's some you know strong connection there, uh, but sixth house conflict health, um, health of the native moon south node south node sucks out the physicality so like. Definitely when young, a lot of success, but as he gets older, it's going to be more difficult for sure. But great wisdom and intuition. If he could have lived longer, um, really powerful mind. It's difficult because South Node Moon, and we know this, anyone who has South Node Moon is going to suffer when they're young. Uh, because it's, it's the South Node's activating the moon, the heart, right? Uh, South Node Jupiter is quite positive. South Node Moon very difficult. So it can create mental imbalance when they're young. Jupiter ruling the MC and the ninth, it's the ninth whole sign house. So MC in the ninth. So um, adventure, philosophy, um, belief system, right? These are all going to be, you know, very powerful influences. I mean, it's also Pisces. Pisces is highly creative. Um for for um van gogh and then mars is conjunct as mc in pisces as well he was very active he moved around a lot um very adventurous um he's from um, the netherlands but he he lived in france um yeah venus exalted saturn's bounds it seems but um yeah so interesting conjunct mars very passionate um Mars is very physical, so he's a painter that is physical. Um, sponsored by Jupiter. Um, and then, yeah, so Jupiter's ruling the sixth house, so the daily daily routine, sixth house and tenth house, or MC plus ninth house, all combined in the sixth house. Tenth whole sign house has exalted sun. It's Mars conjunct the MC. And then Saturn, obviously, so Saturn's in Jupiter's bounds, but it's in Taurus. It's in the in the eleventh, and so that that restricted his his success, his career success. Um, even though it's a daytime time chart, Saturn still did not um, bode well for. He didn't not he didn't sell a painting in his life, not until he was dead. If he would have lived longer, then yeah, Saturn restricted that. Um, but one, one final note, the mundane, you know, moon, Jupiter, um, in the sixth house painting, just your everyday average mundane stuff and making it really beautiful, pouring his heart out into it. All right. Kanye West has the square. It's separating 
but it's still there. Um, and then Jupiter rules uh, Mars, uh, sorry, Moon's, Moon's uh, um, it's dispositing the Moon. Uh, Jupiter rules Pisces. Moon rules the Ascendant. So this is just Kanye West up here in the ninth house uh, being, you know, Jupiter in, in Jupiter in, in Gemini, probably not religious. Ascendant Lord in Pisces in the ninth, probably religious. So he's like religious, irreligious, religious, right? He goes back and forth. He's like, I'm not religious. I'm very religious. Really. Um, moons in Mercury's bounds. Okay, he's a rapper. Ascendant Lord is in Mercury's bounds. He's a rapper. Mercury's in Taurus. In Saturn's bounds. Yeah. Um, Venus and Taurus and Venus's bounds. This Venus is very strong. Um, MC and Jupiter's bounds. Right. Uh, let's see. Jupiter and Venus's bounds, Sun and Mars bounds. Let's see. Jupiter ruling the ninth, ninth house, ninth quadrant, ninth whole sign house, ninth quadrant as well as the sixth. So conflict, he's bringing a lot of conflict. Plus Jupiter conjunct the sun, expands the ego. And then, you know, Gemini gets in trouble by saying stuff. So he's just like verbal diarrhea, getting himself into all kinds of trouble, just being, being cocky, Jupiter, sun ego, just never knowing when to shut up, never knowing when to stop. It's in his 12th house. So it's not very conscious, it's subconscious um it's just like oh my gosh plus it's opposite neptune so like the delusions the fantasy right jupiter's ruling this neptune very creative highly creative jupiter's ruling the 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 opposition with neptune and the square with moon um so it's dignifying both of these but from a very undignified place jupiter has no dignity in gemini right um yeah Plus, Jupiter's in Venus is signed, so or domicile, sorry, bound lord. So it's adding that element of just, um, you know, excess Jupiter and Venus together. It's like very abundant, right? Um, square to the moon, moon's the ascendant lord, right? So Jupiter ninth and sixth. So philosophy, yeah, it's it's just very interesting right but we can see how he's like delusional fantasy oriented never knowing when to shut up gonna get himself in all kinds of trouble just blabbing saying stuff that's hurtful to other people or you know whatever all kinds of things raising hitler in ridiculous um but at the same time moon and jupiter are great friends and jupiter's dignifying this moon and he's highly successful and jupiter is the bound lord of the mc right. venus is in taurus in its own bounds so i mean like not can't can't deny his talent can't deny his there's a there is a certain lovability about kanye west but he spoils it he spoils it like i want to love him but he doesn't let me because he's praising hitler and i'm a jew and that's not right you know so Stuff like that. Um, what else? Yeah, he's also very emotional and creative. Anyway, all right, that's that's it. That's all of them. Oh, I want to do one more. I'm going to do one more. Bonus. Bonus chart, and you probably won't. Um, we're gonna look at mine because I have a Moon Jupiter combination. All right, now my Jupiter is it's in its own uh, bounds, right? It's conjunct South Node, and you can see it's trying the Moon. Moon's in Jupiter's bounds. Uh, so this is a really good trine. The only problem is it's separating. And so I'll tell you what happened. So it's relevant because I have personal experience. Um, Moon is actually moving to a trine with with uh, Mercury, and that's equally great because they're they have mutual reception. There's one sided reception here. Moon's exalted in 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 uh, Taurus, 
but moon jupiter is good regardless and then jupiter is um moon, moons and jupiter's bound so there there is a kind of mutual reception here right but when i was young so planet uh aspects that are separating will show up when you're young especially if they're you know still within range right when i was young i was extremely popular right moon jupiter seventh house eleventh house i was extremely popular i had tons of friends and tons of girlfriends right i i didn't have they weren't actually my girlfriend but they we hung out we liked each other and stuff like a lot of girls liked me let's put it that way i had a lot of female fans um and i was very popular with the men and the women like just as you know i was extremely popular it was the moon jupiter i was in a band i was a singer of a band um tons of yeah like it was just ridiculous i was it was crazy so the moon Jupiter aspect was very um, active when I was young, when I was in high school, when I, when I went to college, it faded. Right. But like as a teenager, incredibly powerful, um, you know, girls were obsessed with me, literally. Right. I mean, that's, you know, Venus opposite Neptune with Mars and, you know, I, there's a lot of factors there, but this moon Jupiter uh, trine was, was very active and popular back then. But Jupiter does not do well with Virgo. So it's not like the best, but, you know, again, moons and Jupiter's bounds. Seventh, 11th, popularity, relationships, right? So Jupiter's in its own bounds. And then South Node, right? So this makes me a good teacher. I don't want to, I don't like promoting myself, but it does, you know, speak about like South Node, Jupiter and Jupiter's bounds towards like very practical teacher kind of thing. Mercury's here. In Saturn's bounds, which is good that it's in Saturn's bounds because Jupiter wants to expand the Mercury. Saturn is saying, "Hey, let's let's haul it back in a little bit." All right. So anyway, that that's my chart. Um, you can see all my all my bounds and stuff here as well, right? Mar Mars is very much my ascendant lord, bound lord. Mars is conjunct the MC and Saturn. Saturn's bounds. Saturn's in Jupiter's bounds. Moon's in Jupiter's bounds. Jupiter's in its own bounds. Venus is in Jupiter's bounds, right? So Sun's in Venus's bounds. So everything kind of points to this Jupiter, right? Anyway. Um, yeah. That That is it, guys. For the Moon-Jupiter combinations. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hit that like button if you are willing. Um Subscribe if you haven't already. Book a reading with me, Macro Gold Machine at yahoo.com. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And um, I'll see you again soon, guys. Uh, me, mediocre astrologer signing off. Meh, I'm okay. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. And laugh it off. Take a victory laugh. Win before you win. All that good stuff. You know what to do. I'll see you next time. Bye.